hey guys you are welcome back to my channel if you're coming for the first time you are welcome i'm going to share with you the special gizzard suya recipe this recipe is the best it is the best i'm saying that categorically it is the best so if you are interested just sit back relax and continue watching and if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe and let's dive straight into the recipe so for the list of ingredients i have some chicken gizzards i have some suya pepper i have some oil and my pastry brush I also have some traffic lights, chopped bell peppers and some onions and I have thinly chopped onions for steaming the gizzards. Here are my spices, I have curry thyme, hot pepper, no and salt. Here are my skewers. The first thing to do is to go ahead and season the gizzards. I added my seasonings and I added the chopped onions. Next I added a spoon of the suya pepper. This is a must okay. If you want this to be very tasty and if you love the taste of suya you need to do this okay. Don't even omit that. Next just go ahead and add water cover the pot and let the gizzard start cooking I cooked the gizzard for about 25 minutes to 30 minutes because I want it to be soft and not too hard and check it from time to time to avoid it from burning then at this stage um, the water was almost um, drying out so what I did was to stir fry kind of because I want the stock to be absorbed into the gizzard I don't just want to scoop out the gizzard and throw away the stock I just wanted the whole stock to absorb inside the gizzard so at that stage I just reduced my heat to lowest and I was just stirring until it dried up now go ahead and throw it the gizzards and the vegetables there is no order um, of arranging the whole thing just do it according to your preference there is no correct order for this so sometimes I go in first with the onions sometimes I just go in with the bell peppers but just do it according to whatever your preference is so I added some onions I added the traffic lights bell peppers I added some gizzards then I went back again with the vegetables <music>
threading everything transfer to your baking pan or your oven tray next just use your pastry brush to just apply some oil the reason for applying the oil is just to help the suya pepper to adhere and not to just fall off Now go ahead and sprinkle some of the suya pepper on the gizzards. Already this gizzard tastes like suya because I used the suya pepper as seasoning while I was um, cooking the gizzard. Okay, so already this gizzard tastes like suya. So this is just to fulfill all righteousness and just to give it that authentic um, suya look. Okay, so that's why I went again with the suya pepper but in case you don't have enough suya pepper or you just don't want to you can even omit this step already this gizzard tastes like suya now transfer to the oven and either bake grill or broil for just five minutes okay just between five to seven minutes don't let it stay too long in the oven because you don't want it to dry out a lot and we also do not want the vegetables to be overcooked okay so after five minutes at 300 degrees fahrenheit this is the final look and this is just how this gizzard suya looks it is so so good okay i wanted to try out this recipe and let me know in the comment section how it turns out the vegetables we are my favorite thing in this suya like it's tested so good i was so addicted to it i almost finished everything it was that good it was that good please try out this recipe and let me know how it turns out if you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up you can share the video to anyone you feel might be interested and if you have not subscribed yet to my channel please subscribe and turn on your bell notification so that each time i put up a new video you'll be notified okay let me know what you would love to pair with this gizzard suya as for me i will love it with jollof rice thank you so much and i will see you in my next video bye